So I had a question posed by a student. Um, once you get components uh, inserted into a model, uh, how do you get these things lined up? Now when you insert a component in a model, uh, they usually come in at a certain orientation. Uh, they orient, or they come in oriented uh, with the model with the north, east, south, west uh, you know, sort of uh, coordinates there. But uh, once you get them into the model, uh, it's uh, difficult sometimes uh, to actually get these things to line up one right after another. One option uh, here is to use the array command, where you can array it from, uh, you know, linear array, array in a, in a way, from one end to the other, uh, multiple components, uh, or you can use uh, the modify tools. So that's what I'd like to do: is show you some modify tools and how we can get a room like this, this lecture hall, and Mr. Kozer's uh, model, if he doesn't mind me borrowing this, um, uh, in order to make it this uh, demonstration. So this is lecture hall. He's designing a school with uh, components in that school. And here's Alex, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and uh, go to that uh, that level of one and zoom in on that room and uh, kind of line up these desks a little bit better. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first desk and use that as uh, kind of the seed pattern for the other desks that are going to be following uh, behind that. I'll get this thing lined up. I'll put some dimensions on the walls. And now I'll begin to put dimensions in between the desks after I use the line tool. So we'll go off in this direction first this direction second and then we'll fill in the blanks with all these other ones once we get it uh, dimensioned uh, all we have to do is use the align tool after that so first thing we want to do is click on a desk and we're going to rotate that so if we go to the rotate tool uh, it's going to give us a default location for uh, where it's going to rotate and if you're careful about this we can pick up the midpoint line here or it will automatically just align that first reference uh, with a uh, you know perpendicular to the model so once we do that we can take that line as our first reference click on it now and then we're going to make a vertical to the screen and that should line that up so escape a couple times and then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, use the align dimension and we're going to uh, dimension it off the back wall so I'm going to pick the edge of the desk as I did here and it's trying to go to the center of that wall probably more be more important in the finished application as we're in to go ahead and do the finish face of that wall. So if you take the tab key, uh, it'll allow us to select that wall for close to it. So tab it, take that dimension out to a sixteenth of an inch, then we're going to click on that desk, go to that dimension, and we're going to change that to maybe uh, six feet. So we'll make it six feet off the back wall. So what we want to do is give ourselves a little bit of room. There might be tables, chairs, back here, a bookshelf, or something like that. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of room with that component. And we're going to take that dimension and we're going to lock it. So we're going to do a dimension off the bottom here, probably from the edge of that, uh, you know, the edge of the table to the wall over here. So let's go ahead and do that to our quick access toolbar. Pick the align dimension, tab key. Oops, press the escape key by accident. Click on that, tab it uh, to that edge. Drop that dimension into place. Let's go ahead and click on that so we can change that dimension. We're going to make that two feet. Uh, actually, probably should make that about three feet. Let's take that dimension. We're going to lock that. Now we're going to take the align tool. Also on the Modify tab on a ribbon, we use this as our static element. So the first thing you click with the Align tool, it's going to be static. The element you click second is going to move. Put that into place. There's a temptation to lock that, but I've noticed that if you lock that now, trying to put dimensions in between it, it's kind of difficult. So we're going to keep that unlocked for now. and will probably come back later. Escape once. Click on that edge, that edge. Escape. This edge, that edge. Now we have that align escape one more time. We do the same thing here. We click on this edge of the table and that edge of that table. Not uh, lock that into place. But now we're going to take uh, with the escape key twice. We're going to get out of that command. Move that table up there a little bit. Now we're going to go back to the align dimension. And we're going to align that edge to that edge. Drop that dimension into place. Click on that table. This dimension's blue. Gives us the ability to modify that. We're going to make that two feet. Yeah, it might be a little bit long. How about one foot? We'll make that one foot because we're going to start interfer getting into interference over here with a corridor we should have with that doorway opening. Line tool again. This edge. Actually, I need to do escape once. Let's go back and uh, click on this edge. We'll use this as our seed for all the other elements in here. And we'll click on that. And, you know, what we don't want to do is have a chain of... Uh, of um, of dimensions. We'd rather have one element that we're going to line everything else off of. So, let's go ahead and put that, that aligned dimension between uh, this table, that table, click on that table, make that two feet. Nope, we're going to make that one foot. Now we should be in pretty good shape. 
So let's go ahead and lock these. Let's take that dimension, we're going to lock that one. This dimension, we're going to lock that. And now we should be in pretty good shape. We should be able to line these, uh, these desks up. Oops, what we didn't do is uh, put dimensions in between these desks. So let's go ahead and do that. Align dimension again. Click on that element, uh, that edge to that edge. Click on that uh, table with the escape key uh, twice. Let's maybe make that uh, four feet. Let's go ahead and make that five feet. Yeah, let's take that dimension, we're going to lock that. We can take all of our dimensions and lock it, but we're not going to lock necessarily all of our alignments. So let's go back to the align tool, or uh, the align dimension. Click on these two elements, drop that dimension into place. Click on this desk, take that dimension, we're going to make that five feet. And one more time, align dimension from that edge to that edge. Drop that into place, click on that table, take that dimension, change its value to five feet. Now we should be in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and take these dimensions and move these down a little bit so they're kind of out of the way. So they're out of the field. We'll take these dimensions too. We're going to move these back. Might have to get a little bit closer to do that until you see the move button. And eventually we're going to take these dimensions once we get these put into place. We'll probably take them, make them, turn them back into temporary dimensions so they don't necessarily show in our model. Unless you want them to show. Now the alignment tool. Let's go ahead and do this. Line up that edge and that edge. It, the temptation is to lock it right now, but let's not lock it. We can do that later. And then we're going to take uh, this edge and that edge. Line that up. 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 So I can see, think you can get uh, the idea of what we're doing here. Eventually we get these things all back into place. Where they should be. And so these are all lined up, so let's go ahead and line these up. And then uh, ultimately, I clicked the wrong surface here, so I'm going to go back to the tool. We're going to go ahead and line that up. And then uh, this edge to that edge, we're going to line that up. And I think we could probably start locking these into place, but you can see what we're doing, and now we have that room fairly well uh, lined out. I believe that once you get your dimensions in place and you do the alignment tool, it won't over constrain the model if you go ahead and lock that alignment when you do that. So just to demonstrate that, if we go from that edge to that edge, even though it's already aligned, we can now uh, lock that into place. This one is already locked, so it's not going to allow us to do that. But uh, we can go back and uh, again do the maybe this edge and that edge. We know we didn't lock that. This edge and that edge up here, we can lock that, and so on and so forth. So now if we go back to our camera view, and to see that camera view, by the way, if you need to see that in your floor plan, there's going to be the large electric camera. You can right click on that and go to show camera. You can see where the camera is going to be. And let's go ahead and double click on that and see how those desks line up. Now it looks uh, much more attractive. If you want to do a photo real image of this room, uh, having these desks lined up like that is, uh, is a good thing to have. So thank you for joining me. Join me for other videos.